new girls hairstyles and Camry's here. Hi guys! Helping me today to show you guys how to do the stacked bubble braid. Now this one's a really great hairstyle because it literally takes like five minutes and everyone's looking for those back to school five minute hairstyles and it's also up off your face and pulled back so fantastic for those of you that are sporty or athletic or dancers or what have you. Mm -hmm. Now if you guys haven't seen the cool new features at the ends of our videos where you can actually click off from your mobile devices be sure to wait till the end of the video and you'll see the little buttons pop up because they're super cool be sure to give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel down below and let's go so to begin this hairstyle i've just put an accent braid in the front of camry's hair this is just going to make it look a little more grown up and it's totally optional we've swooped all of her hair up into a really high ponytail and she has pretty thick and long hair so just to secure it and to make sure that the ponytail goes really up and has lift I'm gonna add a second elastic on top of that first one. That's a little ponytail trick. For those of you that have long, thick hair too. Now, you can see this is just remnants of that braid I put in her hair, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this braid since it's kind of the perfect thickness for where I'm heading. Now we have everything ready to do our bow ponytail and the accent braid. So we're going to brush out her hair just make sure it's pretty smooth and sleek. If you have curly hair, you can straighten it. That's what Cam has done. Then I'm gonna lay the braid right down the middle. And I'm gonna go up to the top and go down a couple inches and then put an elastic around it. And we want that accent braid to be running right down the middle. Now I'm gonna go and just pull the sides of her hair, just like you were pulling a bubble ponytail like that. Here you have an option. You can take a piece of hair and wrap around your elastics like this and then, you know, bobby pin them if you want to, or you can just leave the elastics in there, whatever your preference is. I don't personally love the bobby pins because I think they kind of fall out throughout the day. So I'm probably just gonna use matching elastics and let it go. And just right here, I'm just making sure that the braid is staying on the top part of the hair. I don't want the hair falling in front of the braid. And right here at the end, I'm gonna remove the elastic I had in the original braid. And I'm just going to put a double elastic in the bottom just for added security. All right, let's do the final spin. So pretty. Guaranteed to get comments on that one. Okay, so if you want to subscribe to our channel, you can click this nifty little circle right here where you actually can click it and subscribe. If you want to watch some more of our hairstyles, click right here. And if you have missed our Behind the Braids vlogs, you can click right here to see them. That's it, guys. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.